Gather round, MCC enthusiasts, and we will tell you the tale of how Technoblade changed the future of one of the most controversial games of MCC forever. Love it or hate it. I hate it. Yeah, all right, mate. Either way, Build Mart has been a staple of the MCC game roster since the beginning. But it wasn't always the Elytra swooping island floating randomized build system that we see today. Nope, once upon a time, players had to scoot around in shopping carts through narrow corridors and across slippery disappearing floors. It was certainly a more frustrating format than the one we have now. I'm really enjoying this tournament. I cannot wait to play Minecraft Championships again. But in some ways it was an equalizer. Many of the main S tier competitors struggled with Buildmark's format and it allowed those that weren't so skilled with the sword a chance to catch up even just by a little bit to those in first. One of the main contestants who would consistently dominate in PvP games was Technoblade and Buildmark proved to be a bit of a ball and chain around his ankle for a few of the early MCCs he participated in. What part of my skill set does this game appeal to? Placing 10th in MCC3, 3rd in MCC4, 8th in MCC5, and 8th in MCC6. It's safe to say whatever strategy Techno and his team were using for the first 6 MCCs wasn't working most of the time. But Technoblade isn't just a PvP god. His strategic mindset is often what bags him victories. And after being handed one too many L's in Build Mart, he decided to take matters into his own hands. Okay, I'm gonna have to start like watching the enemy team perspectives. How are they that coordinated? I don't understand. This is how Technoblade broke Build Mart. One sleepless night, Technoblade was discussing potential strategies for Build Mart with Wilbur, and Wilbur suggested that instead of going back and forth between the builds and resource points, they should just gather a large amount of every material and complete all of the builds in one go. This seemed viable, but it would take too long to gather a stack of every type of material in the game. And that's when it hit Techno. Build Mark back then was composed of 26 different builds. And technically, if you counted how much of each material those builds required, you could gather the exact number of every type of material you need to complete every build without ever having to leave the build stations. But putting a list together like that would require hours of work, right? I did not get a lot of sleep yesterday. Yes, it would. This was it, the day of MCC7. Guys, you know what to do. You know what to do. Technoblade has separated the resources needed into four sections, one for each team member, and handed out a shopping list of materials to each of his comrades, Wilbur, Filza, and CBK. Naturally, we still had CBK's list to hand, but we reached out to Technoblade for the other three lists, and he was kind enough to supply us with them. Wilbur was the team lumberjack. He had to gather all the different wood types. Techno assigned himself the colors, grabbing all the necessary glass, concrete, and glazed terracotta, CPK was the team's miner, gathering all of the different types of stone, and Filza had the largest list, being the team's florist, but also being in charge of getting every ore block. Filza even went as far as printing his list out and ticking them off as he went by, which is, I mean, <laughs> you just gotta love the commitment. <laughs> now all that was left to do was turn off chat. Yep, they really did that. Turn your chat, bye bye chat briefly. Chat, I'll be back. I love you chat, Sorry, but chat, I'll but... be back. And gather the materials. But was it really that simple? You see, even though each team member just needed to go and get the materials they'd been assigned, there were still many things that could go wrong. One, a team member could erroneously gather the wrong number of items. Two, any one of them could fall into the pits in the center of the build mart corridors, which could cause them to lose all of their items. Three, and perhaps the scariest possibility, each resource was measured to provide only the exact number the team needed, meaning one shift click of a stack of logs into planks would force the team to go on another trip back out to gather more. All of these may not seem too far of a setback, but this strategy's weakest point was in the early game. While every other team was completing builds, remember the order you complete your builds in comparison to other team relates to how many points you get, we were getting no points. If we didn't make use of the time we had left when we got back to the build stations, we would come dead last. So without further ado, here's how the game panned out. It's fine, let's, right, let's go. go, let's go. They reduced it. Probably because everyone was complaining about it being bad, so they're like, oh, <laughs> All right, let's see. I need 25 uh, of this. Three of this. I need 108 of this. Hold on. I've changed my mind. I want a bit more of this. You changed your mind. Do not diversify from the list. It's Do not possible. diversify <laughs> from, this, from the list. <laughs> oh, I'm just shopping, chat. Don't worry about it. We're just shopping. <laughs> we might look slow, guys. Just don't panic. No one panic. Don't you worry, chat. Don't you worry. Yeah, we need 108 for the first build, guys. Don't worry. That's fine. Battle box and mathematics please. legend. What do you want me to do when I get back? Right now, they're blocking the game. No wood, Forget no it. wood. Uh, literally, yeah. none of these builds require wood, so I can't really do anything other than back. <laughs> Don't worry, Wilbur. We're coming we're back very soon. We're, 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 okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. Look at these. Yeah, guys, please come back. 
<laughs> I gave you the, uh, well, one of the rolls was always going to be the shortest, so. Do -do -do. Uh, <laughs> so I'm bouncing around, feeling stressed, the seeing everyone finish, uh, and I'm just here. <laughs> relax, relax, it's fine. Like, no one's done, barely anyone's done anything, it's fine. It's fine. Um, uh, there's fifth to complete things, dude, I think we're... Eleven. I'm getting stressed, and I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't, I don't, I don't think this idea is as good as we thought it was. Wilbur was right to get nervous here. The game had been running for three minutes and it hadn't completed a single build. In hindsight, Wilbur's shopping list was a little on the small side and the blocks he had to get was right around the corner from spawn, meaning he got back with plenty of time to spare. Unfortunately, there wasn't much way around this and he had to sit tight and wait for the others to return. It probably felt like the longest two minutes of his life. Here comes, the, the, here comes the shopping list, boys. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're on the board, boys. Ah, wood! I can do the wood! Uh, okay, good. I need all the ores. I got a ton of random stuff. Uh, Emeralds, emerald, gold. I oh, Jesus Christ, that's so scary. We got this. Three. I need the pink. I'm smart. Three. That forward. Ah, oh, it's gotta go back a bit. And first. No, eighth. Never mind. <laughs> That's basically first. This is when things start to turn a little sour. We've completed six builds and we're still nowhere near first. We had taken so long gathering the materials that every time we did complete a build, we were getting very few coins for it. There was only a little over a minute left on the clock and they were in a pretty upsetting seventh place. It all seemed lost until the strongest aspect of the strategy shone through. The team finally started to complete builds that the other teams hadn't got to yet in quick succession. We're going to let this play out in full to show you how quickly this all turned around. All right. Uh, nice. We're in third. Nice. <laughs> We're rising. We've gone from 10 to 5th. We can keep going. I think I just need to finish this last I'm bit. I'm gonna here. place the white glass for you, Wilbur. Thank you. And this is about to be nice. This is about to be done. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, Oak log, cobblestone. Okay. <clears throat> we will first complete forest. Good job, guys. Uh, oh. Nice job. Nox crew. We're gonna need a lot uh, of red. We're in first place. Let's go, we'll play, guys. We are in first place in build mark. Breaking the cardinal rules. Do we have any coal left? Yeah, I got eight. I got eight. I got eight. Oh, that's what I like. Uh, coal in the thing there. Still, is anybody smelting anything? Where's our yellow? Who is the yellow? I'm not gonna touch it. Do we have any oak clogs? Any oak clogs anywhere? I can't make it in time. First. All right, all right. Let's go. We just want build mark, boys. In build mark, chat. Do you believe this? Who would have thought closing chat <laughs> was the way to go? Chat? Who would have thought closing chat was the way to go? You all doubted us. Number one. And that's how Technoblade broke Buildmart. With this strategy, first place was essentially guaranteed to anyone who had the resource lists and could orchestrate a team to pull it off. Which is exactly why Knox crew had to go in and change the mechanics of the game. Following on from this MCC, the type of blocks that a build would have in Buildmart would be randomized. So instead of a green concrete block, it might be an orange one. It was a small change, but an effective one, as it meant resource gathering had to be more reactive rather than proactive. Thanks for watching this video, and if you'd like to see more analysis from deep within the VOD vaults right here on All Things MCC, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video.